Miss Veronica here. I've got a super fun craft to go along with our lesson this week. It's the burning bush. So you will need a few supplies. You will need a clear plastic disposable cup. Um, the short ones work really well. Can be a tall one, you could cut it down or even leave it tall. And you will need some scissors. You'll need some sort of glue. Um, regular glue works. A glue stick is awesome. Mod Podge also works. If you um, just paint the inside of the cup with Mod Podge, that's another way to do it. You'll also need something to make fire, right, for our burning bush. So I have yellow, red, and orange tissue paper. It can be tissue paper, um, little pieces of crepe paper, or any other paper that you have around. And then you'll need our principle. It says, and God said, I will be with you. Now you can print it on white and you can use crowns or markers to color it in, or you can print it out on green paper like I did, which is what we're going to use. And then this is optional, but if you have one, these look really cool lit up. So a little battery operated tea light. Okay, so let's get started. What you're gonna wanna do is take your paper cup and you wanna fill the inside of it with your colored paper so it looks like it's on fire. And you can just put some glue onto your tissue paper and you can leave it sticking up out of the sides. That makes it look realistic. And just put different colors in there, no particular order. That's what makes it look really cool. And you're just gonna keep sticking them in there and overlapping until you have your whole cup covered. And you see, I've got some that kind of come out the top, so it looks really cool. I also used a uh, purple glue stick, you know, the one that dries clear. And so there's a few little purple dots that'll go away really soon. So once you have your cup covered, you are going to cut out all of your leaves for your bush. So I have pre-cut most of them but this is where your scissors come in and you'll need to cut these out. If you need to get mom, dad, grandma, aunt's help, go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have all of my leaves for the bush cut out and now we want to glue them in order so that we know what it says, right? So we're gonna lay them out and God, said, I will be with you. So you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna put some on the back of your leaves and you're gonna attach it like that. And you're just gonna keep going until you have all of your leaves glued on to your cup and you can overlap them you can put some higher and lower however you want to do that oh, this is looking so good friends I will be oh, we've got plenty of room with, and then last but not least, you. Look how cool. And then if you have that battery operated tea light, you can drop it in and look, you have your burning bush. So remember Moses didn't think that he was the one God should send to Egypt. He didn't think he was good enough. He had lots of reasons and excuses, but none of them stopped God from loving and using Moses. God is always with us and never leaves us, even when we aren't feeling the strongest. God helps us in our weakness. We saw in the Bible today that when we are weak, God proves to be strong. Also remember that we are stronger together and God's put, God puts people in our lives to help us. Take your burning bush and put it somewhere to remind you that God is always with you.
please pray with me before you leave. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for all the blessings you give us. Thank you for reminding us that you are always with us and we are never alone. Thank you for being strong when we are weak. We love you, God. It's in your son's most precious name that we pray. I hope you had fun with this craft. I'll see you soon. Bye.